and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about securing your car keys but specifically car keys that support keyless entry. I've covered this in another video before but I've just got a new Faraday box that's a good price and I thought it'd be worth sharing with you all. So you're probably watching this video because you are aware of the fact that criminals can basically relay the, the keyless codes of your car keys to enable them to be able to get into your car. But just in case you're not familiar, I'll just give you a quick overview of how it works. This doesn't necessarily apply to all keyless entry systems because some of them, basically when the key is not moving and there's no motion detected, it kind of turns off its signal. But I think just in the interest of safety, if you do have a car with keyless entry, it is best to keep them in some kind of Faraday cage. So basically what happens, you'll have your keys, and maybe keep them in a the drawer near the door or hung up on a hook or something. But basically what the thieves will do, they will walk around your house with um, a receiver that they will put kind of near the doors and near the windows, and it will basically uh, pick up the signal of your uh, wireless key fob, and then they transmit that to one of their colleagues who is stood near the car with another transmitter that is basically having the original signal repeating. They basically will do that, you know, so if it's in your bedroom or if they can get close there or relay uh, the key signal like from the hallway or in the kitchen or something over to a car, obviously then the car unlocks and away they go. So I did mention this in a video quite a while ago where I recommended these. Um, it's a basically a little Faraday pouch. Costs around eight pounds for two of them, so not too bad. And we keep our keys in here, so you basically Velcro it open. There is um, a shielded material that basically is sewn into this case. You put your keys inside, make sure it's closed, and then you kind of have this hung up on a hook or whatever. And then it basically means that you are prohibiting anyone from using the relay tack against your keys and stealing your car. Now, in our old house, we had, I guess, a somewhat secluded area we to keep our keys hung up on some hooks in here and the, we poke our keys in here uh, it, look, it would look a bit messy but it was hidden in the cupboard uh, and you couldn't really see whereas now here in the new house we haven't really got a cupboard uh like an downstairs cupboard that we, you would keep our keys in so they're kind of just still in this pouch just kind of left on the side and it looks a little bit messy now for a while i've been looking at something called theft block now this is a company that makes these really nice Faraday caged boxes basically that you can put your keys in. You can also get them uh, customized if uh, memory serves me correct, where you can have like a certain name on there or whatever. But these boxes are, I think mean, they start at around £50. Again, they, they look nice. It's like a, um, what's the word, Alcantara kind of material on there, or you can have leather ones or whatever. And I was having an RM, but I'm tight and I decided I'm not going to get one of those. I will try one of the cheaper ones off Amazon, which is what I've done. Uh, there will be a link down in the description if you decide you want to get one of these up, uh, well, buy it for yourself. Also always check out the Spectrum Geek store, because anything I review or I'm interested in, I tend to put in there. So this is the box it comes in. So it's by a company called Iron Stripe. We're gonna put the keys in the box and go out and show how it works, or just basically prove that it does work, so you can buy um, with confidence. Again, this is not uh, an ad or sponsor or anything, this is just me trying to help you make a more informed purchase decision because I wasn't sure if this was going to work, but it does. Um, so this is the box that comes in. So very plain, kind of cheap looking box, which is fine. But this is what you get inside. So it's pretty much all black, all the way around. There is a little iron stripe logo just in the corner here and there's a little metal buckle. And when you open it up, you put your keys inside. Now it does actually come a little thank you note, which is very kind of them. And a Faraday pouch in there. I guess maybe if you're traveling or whatever, you can uh, keep using that. It's actually a very nice pouch, actually. Um, feels good quality. But um, we're obviously focusing here on the box. So the Iron Stripe Car Key Signal Blocker is what it's called. It's 19 centimeters long, 12 centimeters um, front to back, and then nine centimeters deep. There's plenty of room in here to keep multiple sets of keys. If you can see in there, 
my keys will show up. So multiple sets of keys in there, no problem. So I have a Polestar 2, my keys can go in there. My wife's got a Nissan Leaf, which also has um, a keyless entry. So that's gonna fit in there. Obviously, if you're like my wife, you've got every single key in the world on there, but that's, that's still all gonna fit um, without problem. Now, what's quite nice about this box, as well as it kind of just being plain and not too unsightly, I think you'd be relatively happy just having this sat on the side. There is two layers of the shielding fabric kind of woven and stuck inside the box. So really good um, protection. Obviously the box is not fully efficient or effective if the lid isn't closed. So, I mean, not saying you would leave the door open because it uh, automatically wants to close anyway, but make sure obviously at night or whenever you're leaving your keys, close things down and shut the buckle. Now, another thing obviously with this one, it is large enough that you could fit a phone in there as well um, but one thing that people are often confused about with these uh, types of cages is you know I put my phone in there uh, and it still works now why is that now just to be clear again this isn't sold as a, um, a phone signal blocker that is something completely different this is um, like the RFID um, wallet so you can keep it not that someone's going to come and clone your credit card but obviously if you kept your credit cards in here as well someone couldn't clone them but cars uh, so car keys obviously they, they vary a little bit based on where you are uh, geography wise but here in the UK these keyless entry systems run at around 433 megahertz and that's what this material is effective at blocking Cell phones are, again, depending on where you're located, obviously most phones these days work all around the world, so they are gonna be working at 900, 1800, uh, 2100 megahertz range, so are not designed to be effectively blocked in a case like this. You have to get a proper kind of Faraday cage or signal blocker, which is illegal to operate in certain areas, by the way. Um, but yeah, so don't, I mean, you keep your phone in there if you want, if that's what you wanna keep in your bedside cabinet and put everything to, in a box when you go to bed, but it's not meant to block your phone. So let's pop outside to the car and I can show you that this does actually do what it says on the tin. The other thing I mentioned, it is only 22 pounds. So again, just over half the price of the um, theft block one that I mentioned. Not quite as nice looking, but again, you can decide um, which one you think is worth the money or not. So pop outside, let's show you how the keys obviously normally work how they work with the door, uh, the lid open, and obviously then closed if it's doing its job of blocking. Okay, so we're outside. I've only got two pairs of hands. So one hand to hold the camera. You can see the Faraday case at the top there, and the car is locked. So just was double checking it's all working. So keys in hand. You should see uh, when I touch the door handle, the car will unlock due to the keyless entry. See the little indicator blip, so just here. Okay, so car is unlocked, no problem to lock that again so obviously as you expect keys working the way that they should do I'm just going to pop this in the box and then we'll hold the box near the door handle and then we'll see if it unlocks okay I'm going to need two hands this is resting some of my wife's bonnet no, no right so keys are in the box as hopefully you can see here. Ta -da! So if I keep the box open, you'll see that it still unlocks. Okay. Now it's locked again. So we're just going to close the box and then um, you'll see that it does the job, even with the keys right next um, to the handle it uh, won't unlock. Uh, when you hear that extra locking, it's like the deadlocks that happen after the car is locked, so it's nothing to do with uh, the key to entry system. So, keys are in the box, right in the handle. Nothing. The keys are locked away in here, shielded, and no longer does the key entry system work. So that's it, the iron stripe RFID key security blocking box thingy. Um, I think it's £22, really well spent. As mentioned, there'll be a link in the description if you decide to get one yourself. But I think, you know, for peace of mind, and you see so many posts online and in the news 
where people have had their car stolen because a criminal has basically you know, used that keyless entry system, piggybacked on the keys, retransmitted it to the car with their nefarious friend, driven away with the vehicle. So don't let that happen to you. Spend £22. Again, if you use the link, it helps the channel. It doesn't cost you any more, but I think this is money well spent. Ask any questions you have down in the comments. Let me know if you pick up one uh, and if you're happy with it. But until the next video, take care of yourself and goodbye for now.